my type of cancer is called unknown primary. So it showed up in my neck, but it really started somewhere else in my body. But I've had so many scans, and they've never been able to find it, nor do they think they'll ever find where it actually started. So it just makes it more difficult to treat. When I first was diagnosed, the doctors wanted to do chemotherapy and what I call extreme type of radiation, where they told me that I would have to have a feeding tube, I would have to be <clears throat> suctioning my own saliva, I would be in so much pain that I would probably have to go on heavy, heavy narcotics. And I would be doing that every day for six weeks in addition to, you know, IV chemo every week. And finally, several months ago, they told me that they were out of medical options for me. Right then, I was like, I have to have a second opinion. A really good friend of mine who is a physician, um, I've known him for several years, um, knows about all my cancer history for the past couple of years and uh, all the chemo I've been through. And he just happened to mention one day, Maybe you should check into Colorado CyberKnife. So I got online and Googled it and found Colorado CyberKnife in Lafayette. I came in thinking that I might be able to be a candidate for CyberKnife. Of course, I didn't really know that much about it, but I knew that it was a remote possibility. So when I met with Dr. Simpson, he agreed that CyberKnife was not good for me at the time, but that we needed to do or to look at tomotherapy as an option. So I needed to do tomotherapy first before then maybe I could be a candidate for CyberKnife. I decided that day and within two weeks I was in here starting my radiation. From the technician to the nurse, to the receptionist, to the doctor, I mean, it's just an amazing place and it totally changed my perception of what treatment could be like. And I'm still here. <laughs>